talk about the game plan for the defense coming in against a quarterback like Castellanos that uh, has a lot of weapons. He can, you know, hurt you with his arm, hurt you with his legs. Uh, you guys started out really hot against him. What was the game plan going in? Um, I think just to play smart. You know, you have a guy like this, you can't play timid, you can't play scared. Um, you have to continue to, to get in the backfield and pressure him and put him on his heels. And I feel like that's what we did. Um, you have to contain somebody like that. He's going to make plays as he did today. Um, but you got to shake those plays off. You got to come back and essentially just stay in his head. Let him know that you're going to be around all game and, and kind of just get him, get him to be timid. Flip the screen on him and just let him know that um, this, this D-line, this defense is not, it's not shying away from your athleticism. Um, he's, a, he's a heck of an athletic player. And you just have to keep him corralled in, a, in, a, in the pocket. Yeah, uh, you guys, it was 28 to nothing, and then it was <coughs> fairly even after that. Was there a letdown at all because you guys were scoring so quickly, and, and uh, or did they just make some good plays on, on offense? Um, I think they made some good plays, but with that being said, I think kind of like, like Jack alluded to, I think that um, you know we, we're always trying to play a perfect game of football. That's, that's difficult, especially when they have guys like that, that athletic on that side of the ball. Um, I just think that as a defense, as a team, we have to make sure we don't even we don't let that that little guy on our shoulders, that little that little active complacency creep in. Um, we have to continue to play balls to the wall all four quarters, and I feel like we're still chasing that. Well, Stephen, I guess to bounce off that a little bit, I guess where is the confidence level with this defense? You know, you had the showing against IU, you know, shut out a couple of weeks ago, and again, you had some good moments here. I guess where is the confidence level kind of with this unit? I think our confidence is high. Um, I think. I think we know we can make plays. We know who we are as a defense. We know we're aggressive, and we know that we, we seek that out. We seek every opportunity to be ultra aggressive, take shots as, as a defense, you know, blitzes, man on coverage, whatever we have to do. We're putting guys in positions to win. Um, I think it's a matter of us, again, not letting that little guy on our shoulders back into our head and just, and just staying full with the rattle. You can't let up on the gas. That's how you let teams back into it. You know, last week, you know, we're starting out 21-0, to zero, and then you, you finish the game 21-14. to 14 can't do that week one you know what I mean like you just have to continue to play to win I think um, I don't think that we switch mindsets at all or get into a thing of where we're more lax in that second half I just think it's a matter of um, sometimes it's it's just a thing that happens you know you just have to keep that out you have to fight that I think sometimes it happens naturally and you have to you have to aggressively fight that in your own self um, to a man Stevie what's it like you know being on the defensive side of the ball when you know if you get a stop your offense can score in three plays, go 75 yards, or be up 28 nothing in the blink of an eye? Uh, it's great, honestly. I feel like um, previously, I feel like, you know, I'm a transfer, grad transfer. I feel like I didn't, I didn't always have that. Um, I feel like sometimes defense was, was the winner of the game. And while I do feel like defense is still going to win us uh, ball games, plenty of ball games, championships, I do feel like so much more confident when I can, when I can get a third down stop and I'm not right back out there in three or four plays. I can give it to my offense. I can trust them, even if they don't score, even if they don't get points. They're going to keep on moving, keep on trucking on, and come out just as confident the next series to score again. Going, going off that, you've obviously seen Jack progress through practice going up against him. This was probably as sharp as he's looked since he's been at Louisville. Did you notice anything in particular that he's kind of taken some steps forward to have a game like this? Um, I feel like when you're when you're this deep into the game like Jack is, what is this, year six? You know what I mean? I play I played Jack last year. He was at Purdue with a few buddies of mine before that. Jack is a extremely smart quarterback. He knows what to do, he knows when to do it. Anytime Jack messes up, I can promise you it's not it's not a it's not a He's not meaning to do it. You know what I mean? It's just one of those things that happens. Maybe he's overthinking. Maybe he's doing that. Today, we really saw him settle in and play his ball and, and really be able to thrive in this offense. Um, player like Jack is, is somebody that I think can make it to the next level, and he can be a good player. You know, you've seen plenty of quarterbacks come out of that and Brahms system and go into the league and, and find things to do. Um, I'm really excited for Jack this year to see him progress from last year to this year. Um, I was really excited coming in when I heard that, when I heard that he was going to be the guy that was transferring in and hopefully getting that spot. Um, so to see him work, to see him grow, um, I don't think it was anything special this week. I just think that he's, you know, he's, he's fighting his own self in his head, and he's just you know, finally just buckling down and just being comfortable. Sometimes it takes time. There were <clears throat> four or five offensive uh, touchdown drives that took five plays or less. Uh, is, is it possible that they score too fast and the defense doesn't get enough rest? Not at all. Not at all. We're just, we're just as confident in our twos and, again, twos, and threes, the guys who are getting on the field maybe after the ones, not the first guys who are on the field. We're just as confident in them to make plays all around the board. Um, sometimes, I don't know if you noticed today, we, we rotated a lot. 
for the first, like, I think, like, six or seven drives on defense, least defensive line, we were rotating from, from these guys to these guys to these guys to these guys. And if we get this situation, we're going to bring these guys in. Whatever it is, guys are always ready to play. And I think that we kind of made that um, obvious coming into the year. Everybody has to be ready to play. Everybody in this exact team, our defense meets in here. Um, everybody who sits in a spot in here has to be ready to play at some point during this year. You're going to make an impact, and you, you are going to change the outcome of a game if you're ready. Thank you, guys.